Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Our mobile app has been ranked number one by three out of seven cab drivers in Estonia. I want to thank them for taking that survey for us. Yes, friends, you can find our mobile app. It's on the Play Store. It's on the iTunes App Store. You can go there, find it, and um, download it. It's free. Put it on your phone, your mobile device for Google, for Apple, and it's all available just for you. This week, we're looking at Psalm 147. We were looking yesterday at 15 and 16. We began the wintertime section. It's cold outside. Let's read today verses 17 and 18. He sends out his ice like morsels. Before his cold, who can stand? He sends out his word and melts it all. His spirit returns and the waters flow. Okay, let's let's talk about the waters flowing today. First of all, you'll notice that our wintertime analogy continues. His ice and his cold. Same word, actually, but used in a different way here, so translated differently. We have ice-like morsels. So these are the your hail, your sleet, so forth. So we've had snow, frost, hail, sleet, whatever, however ice comes. And I'm sure it comes in lots and lots of forms. But those are the two I think of right away. And like little morsels, like tiny portions, you know, like the manna that fell down from the sky. So God is the one who scatters. He gives. He sends out his ice. And before his cold, who can stand? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? We saw something like that back in Psalm 130. You know, if you should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand in your presence? And I'm reminded of that anyway when I read this, and I'm thinking that when we stand in his presence, uh, we're going to hope that it's not, we're going to hope it's a tropical paradise and not a frigid thing, you know, because God controls it all. We are actually very fragile flowers, aren't we? We live in this very narrow band of temperature, and we have to have conditions just right for us to succeed, for us to flourish. And so God provides that for us in this earth, but he's the master of cold and heat. As a matter of fact, he controls all of it. For us to stand in his presence, well, that's a very precarious place to be because he is the creator of all things. And I think that what we have here is somewhat of a change now in the direction the psalm is going to take, or at least in this part, because in verses 18, yeah, let's in verse 18, he sends out his word and melts it all. Or it could be translated, he sends out his word and melts them. Now, the them there, who are we talking about? Are we talking about the ice? Well, we use the word melt here, and it's a good translation to melt. The last person, the last thing to be mentioned in the previous sentence is not the ice, but it's the them, the the men. Who can stand? And we know we're talking about people. So before his cold, who can stand? He sends out his word and melts them or melts it all. I think he's talking about not so much the cold, the ice, the snow, the frost, I think he's talking about the hearts of the men. His word is the thing that melts the hearts of men. Listen, churches, it's not your program. It's not your great music. It's not your fine edifice. It's not your pretty lawn. And it's not the beauty of the people you have on stage. It is the word of God and that alone, which will change the hearts of men, if that's what you're really after. You see, God's word melts it all, and his spirit returns And the water flows. So the Spirit of God or the wind of God comes out and comes back to him and everything melts into water. Just And I think, again, he's talking about the human heart. It's what melts. The Word of God changes. The Word of God melts the human resolve. The Word of God brings us to repentance. And thank God the waters do flow so that we can repent properly before our God. Would you join me tomorrow? We're going to look at verses 19 and 20 and finish out Psalm 147 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. 
I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.